we are here at a court case. I was assaulted by an officer while getting arrested. He punched me twice in the face, requiring multiple bandages. And I had bleeding. So, uh, court should be starting here pretty soon. We'll see how that goes. But hopefully y'all can hear me good. Uh, we'll see how this goes. It should be a pretty packed court, though. There's probably 15 cops here. Because it was a pretty active scene when, uh, when we were at it, when it happened. I think I'm going to try and sue for 250000 for negligence. No. For assault, pain and suffering. And uh, let's see, what else could I get them for? Medical bills. This isn't really an internal lawsuit, I guess. You know, it's going to be a, uh, oh, what's the word? Oh, sweet. It's going to be uh, a private suit against the officer, not a s internal suit where they're going to see if the officer is guilty and he's reprimanded. So it's basically suing the officer and the department itself. All right, someone's phone just went off wasn't mine. Turn airplane mode on though. Actually turn turn volume down, airplane mode on. And we'll see how this goes. Alright, that okay. I'm probably going to end up adding most of this out anyway. We'll see. Username, password. Oh. Is that? Jeez. I don't think they'll mind if I have a little snacky snack in here. Not much going on in here, though. I'll tell you what, though, this cop is going to be pissed.
old judge Josh Nicholson. Okay, here we go. Should I clap? Oh, I probably shouldn't clap. You guys may be seated now. Okay. Okay, where is uh, all the officers that were involved? I think they just might be out front of the lobby. You want me to radio them? Uh, yes, please uh, tell them to come in. Uh, I thought they'd be in here, to be honest. I guess. Okay, here we go. The front one, the front is the one that hit me, I believe. Oh, they all look the same. Stand on the chairs. Y'all yeah, uh, can just come you... behind the desk on the right side of the room here. Everyone who is involved. Oh, you want or everyone was, involved? Was saying, in, everyone that was on scene. Okay. Yes. So that's you two as well. It's you two ones. It's gonna be a pretty full courtroom. Y'all for um, um, spectators or anything like that. Okay. Is that guy a cop? All right. Is this everybody? Uh, there may be one more state officer, sir, but I don't think he's awake. I can see if he's awake. No, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. Uh, okay. All right, y'all may be seated if y'all can. Spectators. I like right, the suit. Go ahead and get started. So, um, basically, Mr. Joe Versity. Am I saying that correctly, sir? Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. Um, he is claiming that um, he was assaulted by an officer and he was on scene or y'all were on scene with him at a uh, mobile home uh, it, where it did blow up and basically uh, y'all put an ankle bracelet on him when y'all arrested him. So um, he's trying to get that removed today as well. Okay. So... Um, we're going to address the first issue first, so if I can have Mr. Uh, Jake Cross uh, approach the stand right here. How you doing today? Not bad, yourself? Pretty good, okay. So, um, tell, tell me your side of the story. Uh, start from when y'all rolled up on scene and go from there. All right, well, it's from a while ago, so from the best of my memory, uh, that's not, that's not how you do I believe that. We were chasing suspects coming from the drug location. Uh, we kept chasing the uh, alerts that we were getting from the speed cameras. It was process 60. Before we got to that area, there was an explosion, and we got calls from uh, civilians down. So when we rolled in there, uh, Jesus Christ, the uh, plaintiff here was hey, it's not nice one to of point. the individuals along with four of his buddies, two of them were down. Maybe three of them, I can't remember for sure. So we rendered aid to those guys, and then uh, obviously put them in handcuffs because they were in a known drug location. They were really hostile at start. Uh, wondering why we put them in handcuffs and stuff, and we explained to them completely why. Uh, separated them. As we separated them, one of the guys took me aside and told me that one of the individuals uh, was the guy who owned all the drugs and stuff, and he don't mind bringing it to court. And defend them, and I think the three of them all agreed at the same time that one of the guys was involved. He was the one in charge of all the guns and all the guns. All there's the, one uh, gun. We'll say narcotics at the scene. Uh, there was a van on scene as well. The driver said he had no idea there was any drugs or anything like that involved in the vehicle to start. And when there was, and he realized it, it was all oh, this one party shit. that we've uh, we've arrested. Okay, so you. Uh... Y'all arrested him and who else? There were three more individuals. I'm not sure their names exactly. Uh... That's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, you can go ahead and okay. go back for now. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Joe, I'm going to just say V, if you can uh, approach the stand, please. Okay. 
I just got a few couple questions. Um, so what were y'all doing at that uh, mobile home? Is that one of your buddy's houses or how does that work? No, it was uh, the one individual that got arrested who wasn't really our friend. He kind of just told us to go there. He knew a guy there. We rolled up and it all went to hell from there apparently. <laughs> Okay. Uh, where, are you aware of any explosions from that uh, place? Yeah, that individual went inside and the place exploded. Okay, you did not go inside the... I did not. Okay. So, um, you had no idea why y'all were going there? Y'all were just instructed to? Yeah, he just said he knew someone there was going to see if they were there. And uh, when he went inside, just blew up on them. Interesting. Okay. All right, uh, you can go ahead and go back. If I can have Mr. Uh, John Doe um, step up. I have some evidence here um, that you've submitted. Let's see. The uh, the evidence I've submitted is the uh, is a copy of the is a copy of the guy's uh, is the guy's uh, CAD account saying that he has a anchor bracelet and what it was issued for. Uh, was... I'd also like to add in we're not able to get this because we cannot get the case number, but uh, Mister uh, Mister Joe's blood was found and fingerprints were found inside the uh, trailer on the drug making equipment. Everyone's fingerprints and blood were found. That's literally not possible. Okay. Um. Right now we're uh, only here for the assault. Yeah, yeah. And the, that's fine. Um, the bracelet right now. Okay. So um, basically, I'm gonna read the side notes here. Um, Mr. Joe for City has an ankle bracelet on him. The track. Let's see, hold on. This bracelet Literally was not attached true. on, what's that, June 19th, 2022. In yep, June 19th, Your Honor. June 19th, yes, 2022. I believe it was the 16th. Okay, so, um, were you the one who put the, uh, bracelet on him i was the one who put the bracelet on him sir yes i'm the only officer that's allowed to do that as i'm the only detective okay, be detective okay. for that um so did you inform him uh like the rules of the bracelet he was informed, that, informed of the rules in terms of the bracelet they all verbally and agreed to it they all signed the paperwork saying that they would agree to the rules of every time they flew into the city they would contact a law enforcement officer and let them know that they are in the city that was not stated. Which uh, never happened. None of them ever contacted us, letting us know that they were in the city. Uh, even today, as he approaches his court date, sir, he didn't let us know that he was in the city, which is why we had to ask you, Your Honor, if he was awake yet. Okay, so uh, has he been uh, keeping in touch with you all? No, never, not once. I didn't know that he had been awake since the, de since the incident, because he had never contacted anyone. That's okay, so he's... He's not wanted for not checking in. How's... Uh, to be honest, uh, I didn't know he was awake because he had, he wasn't checking what in. His mean? cousin was a firefighter, so I thought his cousin, I thought his cousin was the one checking in all the time, uh, the one coming into the city. Okay, and everyone on scene received the ankle bracelet, correct? Everyone on mean? scene received the ankle bracelet. Uh, there was him, Del May, and two of us that okay. received ankle and, bracelets uh, on that day. Have they stayed checking in? No, you all? no one has checked in. There was an incident a couple of days after with Bill May where we said, we're going to put an quick place on you. He said, I already got one. I said, you should have checked in. He said, oh, and he just never checked in with us since. Okay. So since the law has changed, um, I know it used to be where you can, uh, you know, if they didn't check in, you can ping them and whatnot. Um, randomly or not randomly but if they you know, haven't checked in yeah uh it has changed to now like they only have an ankle bracelet if they're on house arrest and stuff like that um well house and job you know back and forth yeah, yeah um since that has changed to that um you know 
I won't be going further with this other than, um, you know, y'all can remove it after this court date. So that uh, has, that will, uh, you know, that will be in the verdict. Okay. Uh, do you have any arguments? Anybody uh, on the left side of the courtroom or this side have any uh, arguments over that? Okay. No. No, he's fine. We, uh, it was only oh pending his court date, Your Honor. We wanted to, so we knew where they all were in time when we brought it to court, so they can all defend themselves against that one individual who claimed that, who they claimed was uh, the main party in all the strokes. Okay. Yeah. If it was the, uh, if the law hasn't changed, I would say, um, you know, he could be arrested. But uh, at this time, the law has changed. I think it was during his duration of uh, having the ankle bracelet on. So. Um, you know, that will be terminated. Sweet. Especially yeah, since they okay. didn't tell me that. And due to the um, fact we can't go back that far in the MDT, we can't actually see what what we had evidence for, so. Right. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, go back, uh, Mr. Doe. Thank you, sir. Um, the evidence you handed me was enough to know, you know, that you have informed him about the bracelet and everything. Um... Mr. Uh, Barcetti, do you have any objections of what they said or anything? Uh, yes, I do. All right, let's go ahead and get you to purchase then. I would like to say that I was partially informed on the ankle bracelet conditions. They never did say I need to check in. They just told me I couldn't leave the country, basically. Objection, Your Honor. Go ahead. Uh, we do have uh, we do have body cam and audio evidence of him agreeing to this. We do also have a signed statement from him agreeing to this. Okay. Uh, since the since the law has changed, uh, basically we're just going to go ahead and terminate the ankle bracelet for you. Uh, you know, okay. all the way. All right. Any more uh, arguments or concerns? Anything like that? I'm just kind of concerned how they had fingerprints and blood inside the trailer when I never went in there. Even when they arrived, I was not inside of it. Yeah, uh, this court case is actually for the two incidents uh, you you have uh, brought to us. So okay. um, they would have to bring that to court if they, you know, would like anything like that, like a trial for that. Um, okay, that was all I had then. All right, you can go ahead and go back. Okay, All thanks. Right. Um, gonna move on to the assault. Uh, Here we go. Basically, you could say it from there, Mr. Uh, Versetti. Um, actually, come up, come back to the stand and uh, tell me what happened with the assault and everything like that. Uh, would you like me to start from the beginning of the scene, or would you like it pretty close to the assault actually happening? Just, um, you know, whatever... Uh, you know, is involved with the uh, assault. Well, they arrived on scene with uh, weapons pointed at us. I was kind of oblivious to them arriving. They came up behind me, had me walk back to them and arrested me. And uh, Officer Jake Cross went and put me up against his car. And while he was trying to put me inside of it, he punched me in the face two times. I received a slight concussion from it, bleeding out pretty bad. I started to black out some, and another officer took me to the side and gave me some bandages to fix me up so I didn't uh, need further medical attention. And I okay. remained separated from him. Okay, so you didn't receive any further uh, medical uh, I went attention. on my own afterwards just to take care of the blacking out from the concussion. Uh, uh, just one second, Your Honor. He was offered medical assistance on the scene. He refused medical assistance. Uh, no, I took the bandages. You took the bandages, but you refused us to take you to court or anything like that. You also we're at, we're at court now. Okay, okay. All right, you can go ahead and go back. Uh, anything else you want to add or anything? Uh, no, that was all. 
All right, yep, you can go ahead and go back. Uh, Jake Cross, can you uh, approach the stand, please? This Absolutely. This fucking British right, dude, so tell man. Tell me your um, your side of you know. Let's see this. Been. All right. I'll situation. pick up. I'll pick up right from where he started as well. Uh, yeah, we did approach from the rear, known as a drug location. Most drug locations, as you probably know, your honor, most uh, most suspects there are probably armed to the teeth, and we didn't want to take any chances. So we figured the element of surprise was the best way to minimize casualties. And uh, probably armed. avoid a big shootout in the middle of the desert. So that's why we approached him from behind and ordered him on the ground. He was taken to my police car when he was placed in handcuffs. He was put against the police car, as we do every other suspect in any other arrest. He was also searched, like we do any other suspect in any other arrest. Uh, at the time, I tried to put him in the cruiser. I uh, was having some mind issues. And when I was trying to put him in, it uh, kind of maybe popped my head a little bit. At that point, that... Uh, I kind of did push him or punch him, whatever happened there. And the second time I tried whatever to do it again, happened. it did the same thing. So then I asked another officer to put him in. I didn't put anyone else in the cruisers after that point because I knew I was having issues with my mind. So uh, that's also, I'm, I'm assuming, will be documented as well. He was offered medical attention by myself. I did apologize to him. said, sir, sorry, my mom is popping. And uh, we offered medical attention. He refused. He just took the bandages and went on his way. That's not... Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask uh, if you yourself offered him uh, medical attention. Absolutely. Yes. And I did apologize as soon as I did it. Twice, actually. As we do to anyone else that we he have not. Uh, those kind of issues with. He did so not offer medical attention. That, uh, the, other, pop problem. the other guy did. Okay. Um, Any officer here can contest it at Mind Pop as well, because I was saying order radio for someone else to come and do it, because they couldn't do it. Yes. Uh, all right, you can go ahead and go back. Um... All right, uh, any other officer, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you were on scene and seen the assault happen, uh, you can approach the stand. You know, you can talk among yourself who you're going to send to the stand or whatnot. To be honest, I don't think any other officer that was there saw it. What do you mean? Quite a bit away. Okay. That's we not accurate. came over the radio say that, was asking for someone to come and take. Uh, I object to that. We were all in okay, close proximity. What was that, sir? We were all in close proximity to each other. There was multiple officers that did see it. Alright, so you wasn't uh, giving them any trouble or anything like that? No, I was already handcuffed and ready to be put in the car. Okay. Yeah, Your Honor, I agree with that. He wasn't. He didn't cause a problem for us the second we rolled up. He, uh, he complied all the way. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, step back in my room. Do you, any sides have any arguments or uh, um, or anything like that further? Uh, no, this side's good. Side as well. <whistles> yeah. All righty. Really? Is right, that officer on his phone? I'll be back uh, within, I'd say, not even a couple minutes. Oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. Like, if they get away with this, we were in close fucking proximity. There is no way in hell that they didn't see it. We were literally next to each other. Me and the other cop were actually talking about it. Beautiful day. This fucking guy. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Or at least the sheriffs and the uh, give me state some trooper here, right? Scared shitless statements of the word. You okay there, guys? See? I wonder why they're scared. Has anyone ever noticed that that trooper has a uh, tattoos like from Sons of Anarchy on his forehead? <laughs> mm. <Is that> what <laughs> the fuck? Just checking Twitter. I don't think phones were allowed in the courtroom. We're getting 911 calls, so we have ah. to uh, check them off in the system. I see. Yeah, fortunately, our MDT is, uh, well, we're working on a better one. Yeah, every time someone calls 911, it pops up on our phone, so we have to mark it as checked. 
There's someone responding to it now, I think. Ah, yeah, I see. Fucking stupid ass shit. Everyone, everyone is here. You're checking Twitter, you fuckers. I know you are. Because we just got a tweet, so everyone had to go check it. Seriously, who is this dude? Who is that? That's scale. He's lost. Alright. That scale is tipped to the right, and they're on the right side, so, uh. Not feeling great about my chances here. I guess he's back. I don't. I don't understand. Where's he? Go? You're not a. W oh my! You're not the jury. What? What are these cops doing? That's literally for the jury. But, dude, that's the jury. Man, if the judge was here, this all be contempt of court. Fucking mess around up there. Oh, that was the dude. He had tons of tattoos. That's the guy that gave me the bandages. You're, you're not. You're not part of the jury, so bailiff. That's contempt of court, this... there. <laughs> God damn! This is ridiculous. Bravo Fed, Bravo Tony One. Still have a bandage from that fateful day. Oh uh, shit. This is taking a while. Like. I just don't like it's my word against his. I really don't like it's my word against his. I should have wore sleeves for this. Uh, bailiff. What is he trying to do now? Yo -ho, bailiff. I think that's a sheriff. I think he's leaving on a job. Yeah. This is wild. Where is it? Is he just going to go peek on him or what? Well, the bailiff is supposed to, but I think he's asleep. Yeah, Not really I'm supposed I'm to disturb okay. the judge. Uh, can you check? Uh, can you ask the judge if I'm okay to come in to ask him a quick question about something? A quick question? Are you shitting me? Okay to come in, to ask him a quick question. in the trial? Uh, sorry, sir. I forgot I was on the show. In the deliberation. Oh my god. What part of that is allowed?
Oh my god. Can I get a mistrial? <laughs> I feel like this judge doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, because that should not be allowed. He should be get kicked the fuck out. This is some kind of bullshit, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. <sighs> Stupid chair. Wait, let me sit down. Where's that? That pattern's not even right. See that where it's diagonal. That way it's horizontal. Wait, vertical. God, I'm fucking. I'm an. I'm a freaking idiot. Jesus. Not even close. Oh. Okay. Guess. All right. He shot a shot a bit early. Yep. That's not even the judge. Well, uh, was Mr. Doe the judge? Oh, okay. 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 All right, everyone may be seated if necessary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I came up with a verdict. Um, let me get it out here. Oh god, I'm fucked. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so for the ankle monitor, um, we are going to be, uh, dismissing that we're gonna have it removed sweet from him Fuck yeah he, he was arrested but was not given any charges when he was arrested i don't know if they were not entered in the system or he was when being detained when um but that that doesn't matter he was given no charges which um you know we'll leave that to being dismissed uh for the assault um I mean, clearly, it was a uh, a muscle spasm on the uh, Mr. Cross's end. Are you shitting uh, me? It, it happens to everybody. Um, you know, twice. And we can't, you know, we can't miss. Um, does either side have an argument or anything? It's my bird. No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Okay. Fuck, um, that's terrible. Like I said, I mean, both cases, it's a win for, you know, one. So, um, after this court case, we will, uh, we will have one of the officers, uh, remove the ankle monitor from him. And, uh, we should be good. Um, for Mr. Uh, Versity, there is a, a, a court, a court fine, uh, you will have to pay as uh. you request it. I have to it, pay the court fine for a case where I didn't get a charge. Yeah, for the uh, for the assault thing, just because you requested it, uh, we will. It's okay. It's gonna be. You need me to look at the price. Yeah, sure. The, the, what? Okay, it's gonna be uh, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Just um. Okay, just I'm fine with that. Okay. That's that's fine. Yep. It can be reduced further. That's just the. So, all right. If anyone, um, if everyone's okay with that, um, this court is adjourned. What did you say the charge was? The fine was? Well, it's not that's really a fine. Be, 
fifteen dollars. It's not a fine. It's just the court, the court fees and stuff. Okay. Well, the LSPD it's... can take that if he wants. Okay, we'll take care of it. Sweet. Because he did request it. And yeah, we'll take was, care of uh, it. There was no action. You know. All right. Uh, this court is dismissed. Okay, Mr. Joe, if you come with me, I'll take your bracelet off. Oh, good. Thank you. That's not Jake. We'll just go. We'll just come back here and take it. Okay. Sweet. Need you to sign this. Just to say that if I took off and that, this is your right social security number. And that's okay. Okay. There you go. Okay, cool. You're free to go, sir. Have a good night. Alright, thank you much. No problem. Man, that's kind of some bullshit. Wait, there's two with tattoos? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know which one's which. You pay the 15 to. Uh, uh, me. You pay it to me because I'm the... I'm the, uh, I'm the clerk for the courthouse, look. He's the fucking clerk! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's some No wonder why they didn't fucking charge the officer with nothing. He's the clerk, and he just went- oh. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm gonna be recording next time, alright? Anything happens, this lovely courthouse. It'll be a win next time. We'll get this straightened out. Man, that's some kind of bullshit, though, isn't it? Crooked. Tell you what, man. The system's against you. <laughs> Quick a winch to his car and pull him out of here. Unlock. Go up yeah, here. Here. And check the status of my loan. So, Qubits are down to nothing. Twitter, what was that tweet? American Force Motorsport, which is now open 1020. Oh, we're gonna actually go up there. Tweet back at him just so he stays open. I just like it. Alright, let's get on the road here. I think I'm gonna have him repaint this. I'm not sure. I think I might go purple, actually. Man, I can't believe they fucking got away with that, though. That's just wild, my dude. Freaking wild. The hell, wait a Go left. Yeah. What, uh, what happened there? Hmm. Back at him just so he stays open. I don't want. I don't want anyone. You know. There's slayers on there. Oh, my judge was live during that, and I was recording. Sweet. So anyway, this is a nice truck on the inside. It's not like my real life one. So I have the black and brown interior, not just straight up brown. And it's not a sport, this is actually a longhorn. I'll tell you what, if my engine was running that hot, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Let's get out of here. 
sure get on the freaking highway. I gotta slow down. Their speed cameras don't like if you go to 80. This is a sweet freaking rig. Oh my god, get out of the fast lane, you're doing 45! Here, cop. Green light. Fuck. This is, in fact, not a green light. Dude. What the fuck? Fucking scratch my flatbed. Rude. So freaking rude. Set my cruise. And we'll just putt right on along. Like I never, I never like to tweet. Whack. Oh, just a muscle spasm. So, uh, are you shooting me? That's assault. Like a muscle spasm. I can see once. Do it twice. Assault. I feel like that judge has a soft spot for him since, you know, his employees were literally the guys I was suing, so. Golly. That just ain't right, man. Can we go any slower? My god. Kick it in gear. Thank you. Or at least doing 55. 55, stay alive, I guess. But I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go more. Alright, I can't even fucking pass him now. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Thought so. Owned. Get the hell out of the city too where all those cops were. Oh, man. Do a little sneaky sneak right here. Ooh, excuse me. Oh shit, too fast. There we go. A good old 74 mile an hour. What do I want done with this? I think I want purple. I'm really feeling purple for this one. I think purple and black. Just gonna sneak on by. Do a little sneaky sneak. Purple, black, tint the windows. Fly as hook. Toya, this thing does need a little bit of a tune. She's kind of gutless. Kind of gutless there, bud. Pass. Can't pass. God, it's gutless. Oh. Good bullshit. Oh, man. Can we do more than 30 mile an hour?
can we please fucking go somewhere more than... Ugh. This road sucks just because there's only one lane going north. Like, if we were heading south, it wouldn't be as bad. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little sneaky sneak. Alright, that group of clusterfuck is over. Oh, do another one. Snack right over. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. Yep, don't mind me, just snacking right on through. Sweet. Set the old cruise at 75. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Stack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, let's expose this old girl. Slow her down. We're, we're approaching our target. Can confirm. Oh. Touch a lag right there. Oh. Wait the light. Alright, no cops at the station. That's a good sign. Don't know why we're stopping. Come on. C come on, Clark. Jesus. At least by the time we get there, the light will change. Right? Yes. Yes. Oh my. God, there's traffic though, my dudes. Fuck. All right. I'll buckle. Come on. You really need to like open up this wall so you can just walk in instead of going all the way around. All right. What do you mean? Anyone here? Hello? My dude. Are you kidding me? I heard some tire squeal. I wonder if that was him. Hello? Maybe this is... Yeah, this looks like him. With his little big Toyota. Alright. Alright. Damn, strutting on me, my dude. Straight up flexing, my dude. Well, I feel like an asshole just standing here staring at him. Just gonna. Oh, yeah. Stock market was looking pretty good. Now, yeah. Twitter? Wait, is this guy not one that works here? Does, does he not? Hey, how's it going? Good, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, nice truck. Thanks. I like your little yeah. Toyota. Yeah, it's just a mud toy. Good hunt rig. Yeah, could be. Do, uh, do you work here? Uh, no, I came up here because I saw that they were open. Yeah, the, there's no one here. I was kind of hoping you worked here. <laughs> Alright, so that guy doesn't work here. Oh 
four customers. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I just tweeted at him, but yeah, there's nobody hey, here. You that, you that guy with the green fist chain? Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for some money to come in, then I'm gonna buy that from you as long as it works with hitches. Yeah, it should. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, buy that off you whenever. Okay. I get the money. Yep. Um, can I? I think I do. Do you have a number named Tyrine? Well, I do mine again, but pretty sure I already have yours. Um, let me look. Ty Ryan, yeah, I have your number. Yeah, I was gonna say I think you already. Did. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'll end up buying that off you for sure. And just uh, give me a minute. All right, no problem. All right, I'll. Uh, I'll see you later. Hold on, I'm gonna wait here for a minute and I might go. Yeah, I tweeted at him, told him I was coming, and I just tweeted at him again. Yeah. See he might have had a head pop. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, alright, I'll uh, be over here by my truck. Alrighty. Do you hear that? You hear a bunch of banging? I should lock my truck though. Yeah, let me just uh get the old locky lock. Lock. Excuse me, there we go. Is there anyone in here? Hello? I swear, this place is never open whenever I come here. Everyone around the side. Oh. What the hell is that noise? Is that door open? No, it's a shadow. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Just don't know, bud. Just uh, take a seat, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it! There we go. Just uh, just gonna chill. Was he only on for 15 minutes? Like, who flies into the city for 15 minutes? Like, my dude. I was really hoping to get the old 5th gen painted here, you know? Yeah, I don't know that he's in uh, in the city right now. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he is.
Yeah, I don't really think it is if he's not around, but maybe it's just, you know, big boom. I don't so know. It might take a minute. Looking at the old Bluetooth, it looks like he's doing something else entirely. Huh. That's... So, uh... That's not right. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, I guess they opened up the shop for a good old 15 minutes and then called it a day. Yeah. I don't know how this place stays in business. Are you the one that worked down there at the D&H Motorsports? Uh, I didn't work there, no. Oh, I thought you did. Never mind. Nope. I have bad luck getting to a dealer when they're open. Yeah, me too. But, uh, well, I'm going to head out, I guess. Uh, hey, do you have any uh, food by chance? Evidently, I don't have any. Oh, uh. I'm about to die. Yeah. Sorry, I just need, like, one food and one water to get me through. Sure. Yeah, sure thing. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll see you. I'll get that money back when he goes to buy my truck. <laughs>